Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about uh, my new plugin that I've released recently. It's called Mantis Shrimp. It's a interop project between uh, Dynamo, Grasshopper, Rhino. Um, it basically allows you to open up either a 3DM file directly and import all the geometry by layers into uh, Dynamo and then do some do some studies on it. Or you can uh, you can use a uh, you can use a user object that I created for uh, for Grasshopper and you can export out of Grasshopper and put it to use that way straight out of Grasshopper if you have some studies going on in Grasshopper and you don't want to bake them into uh, a Rhino file. So what you're looking at right now on my screen uh, <coughs> is an example that I'm going to talk about today. Uh, so these are adaptive component families that I've created based on geometry that I got out of uh, out of Rhino using uh, Mantis Shrimp. So here is a poly surface that consists roughly of 200 panels underneath it, 200 surfaces. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Mantis Shrimp to extract that out of the you know the test 3DM file that, that you see here and. Uh, later populate those panels as, uh, as adaptive component families in Revit. So if we jump over to to Dino, I'm gonna really quickly walk you through what's happening here. Uh, first of all, we have to browse for the uh, for the 3DM file. Once you have that, you can use the get Rhino file uh, node, and you can drop that on uh, Canvas. It will get you the Rhino file then all you have to do is uh, get Rhino layers right uh, when you run the layers let me just disconnect all this stuff really quickly and if I refresh this um, it will show you a list of all the available layers in Rhino currently in the file that, you, uh, that you've saved right so I just want to pull out geometry from the poly surface layer and this is uh, it's sitting on the index number three, so I can get item by index. Use number three, uh, so that's gonna give me really quickly just that one layer called poly surface. So I can then get objects by layer. So I'm plugging in the Rhino file in that one layer, and that's gonna give me my object, the object, the 3DM object that's sitting, which is one poly surface. And then I'm using the uh, Rhino nerve surface to the nice script nerve surface component and what that's going to do is they're going to give me all the 200 panels that are in Rhino and how I know there's 200 of them if I was to explode that poly surface uh, select them there's 200, 200 open uh, surfaces and each one of them if you were to get details uh, is a nerve surface so that's why we're using the nerve surface component and that's why it gives you uh, 200 of them so once we have our surfaces and you can see them in the background um, next thing to do would be to extract curves out of each one of the surface so surface that perimeter curve is what gives you four curves for each one of the surfaces since they all are quads once we have those surfaces I can use curve that start point and what that's going to do is give you the four corner points right so once you have the four corner points and I'm going to plug those corner points directly into adaptive components uh, by points adaptive component by points family and then all you need is family types node and I'm going to find that family one and the reason why I'm using family one is because that's the family that I created I'm gonna show you really quickly. It's a it's a simple four point um, adaptive point family. Um, once you have it loaded in here, I'm gonna delete this for it uh, for the sake of showing this. So using that family one, plug that in, and if you rerun it, that should give you all 200 of those as uh, in Revit as adaptive points. So we basically just created all the panels here, right? So 
but this is not this is not the end of it obviously um, there's a little bit more that we can start doing with this um, since so this is all native dynamo geometry right now design script geometry so we can start doing more manipulations so what I did over here um, is instead of selecting quads we can actually select the three corner points and create triangular panels so I'm using a node block and you can see that you can create a list in this uh, you can create a list by using curly brackets and then typing in a series of numbers separated by commas and then what that gives you is a list of uh, those three numbers so this is the three corner points that I want to extract and I'm extracting uh, point zero, one, and then point three, and then I'm exactly point one, two, and three. So you can s you can see I'm gonna end up with uh, with double the amount of families, double the amount of panels. So there's gonna be 400. So that's why I'm joining those lists together, and at the very end I end up with with a one giant list of 400 elements with three points on each. So now I can use those as points. And now my family one no longer works and it has four points. So I'm going to jump quickly into Revit and edit it and delete one of the points. And then I'm going to add and make it a triangular. So now it's a one, two, three triangular family. I'm actually going to delete all of these, it will be much faster. And then load it back. And since there's nothing else to overwrite, that's much faster. So, let's refresh this so that family 1 is the new 3 point family. And our points are at quad, I mean the triangular points. And if I run this, now this should generate triangular panels instead of uh, quad panels. So this is just one of the possible uses that you can do by importing in geometry from Rhino. Um, I'm going to do some more instruction videos and some uh, more in-depth videos talking about the code and methods that we're using. Uh, this is just a very simple case study for uh, anyone thinking about using it, what this plugin can be uh, useful for. So there we are. Um, it's finished placing all the panels, and you can see they're all quad, I mean, uh, triangular panels, so they have three points. So there it is. Um, this is Mantis Shrimp. Uh, feel free to uh, feel free to uh, branch off of it, create your own custom code, uh, to pull requests or whatever, whatever you feel like doing, improving it, proposing new stuff. Uh, send me files if you have uh, if you see it failing I'll be more than happy to go through and uh, uh, add more stuff make it more robust make sure that it works and all you know all kinds of geometries um, for right now it's only exporting and right now it's only reading files um, I might be adding a component uh, that will write files back to grasshopper and Rhino uh, but that will be coming up later. Um, so thanks for watching. Um, as usual, feel free to follow me on uh, on Twitter at arc underscore laboratory or visit my website at archie-lab.net. Um, obviously, you can find a lot of uh, stuff not only about Mantis Shrimp, but Dynamo, Revit, Grasshopper. I'm posting all kinds of things on my, on my blog. Uh, free code, free videos, free sample files, free custom components. Uh, it's all on my, it's all on my blog. So feel free to uh, pay a visit there. All right, thanks for watching and um, stay tuned. Uh, this, this was Mantis Shrimp. Thank you.